This is a way to solve rational or polynomial inequalities that minimizes arithmetic. First, get one side to zero and factor your numerator and denominator. Then on a number line, plot what makes each factor zero. And then pick a starting point, it can't be one of the zeros, and determine the sign of the left side of your inequality when you plug that starting point in. You don't actually have to find the number, just determine whether it's positive or negative. Then you use multiplicity to determine the sign of the other intervals. If it's odd, you will change sign as you cross that zero. If the multiplicity of the factor is even, then you'll have the same sign as you cross that zero. And finally, interpret the number line to get your answer and make sure that you're not dividing by zero. It's all factored, so we can go right into the number line. This factor, we have a zero. We'll have a negative seven. This one gives us a three. This one, two, makes this one zero. And this one, negative nine-fifths. So those are our points where we'll have a potential sign change. Now we need to pick a number to plug it in. We can't plug in zero, even though that's a nice one, because that would just make this zero. So let's plug in a one. We don't need the actual number, we just need to know its sign. It's negative. So that means that between zero and two, where our one is, this is going to be negative. Now let's use multiplicity to find the rest. So let's go to our right first. 2 comes from this factor, 2 minus x. It's cubed. Its multiplicity is odd, so we're going to change sign. Now at 3, multiplicity is 1. It's odd, so we change sign again. Going left, 0 comes from this factor. Odd multiplicity, we change sign. Negative 9 fifths. This factor has odd multiplicity. We change sign. And then at x plus 7, that has even multiplicity. Well, we won't change sign. It'll stay negative. Now, our question asked for less than or equal to 0. So we want our negatives. So we'll have negative infinity to negative 7. Now let's think about if we want a close bracket or open. Negative 7 makes the numerator 0, which makes the whole thing 0. So we can include that. In fact, this is negative also. So we can go all the way to negative 9 fifths. Now do we want a square bracket or a parenthesis here? Negative 9 fifths makes the denominator 0, which would make it undefined. So we'll have an open bracket there. Now we go to 0. Open or closed, it makes the numerator 0. We're less than or equal to 0, so we can include that. We go up to 2. 2 makes our denominator 0, which would be undefined. We can't include that. 3, that makes the numerator 0. And we're allowed to do that, so we will include that. And then we go to infinity.